guys, Rob Baldwin here, IMAX Productions and 10 Minute Design. And so we're going to look at creating a t-shirt template with a real model with your shirt design on it for use for your Teespring campaign. Okay, so when you've designed your shirt in Teespring and you're ready to go and you're ready to market it on Facebook or wherever you're marketing, um, Teespring gives you this very kind of plain ad image, which is just like the t-shirt the t-shirt design on this wooden background and I mean it's fine but I find that for Facebook marketing people tend to click through more if you have a person on there either a good-looking girl or a guy and people interact more with people so they want to click through to that okay so very simple to do that for your shirt design so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to photodune.net which is part of the Envato marketplace and you're gonna do a search for blank shirt and what you get is a lot of these really good and really cheap uh, photos of models wearing blank t-shirts and usually most of them have a front and a back okay so you're able to paste your shirt design on there now if you want a range a full range of any color what I recommend is getting a white a black and a vibrant color this way we can really make any color we want because it's really hard to if you're changing colors of shirts it's really hard to get a black and a white, so that's why we want those images. But if you got a vibrant color like this green or this red, we can pretty much change that to anything. Okay, so let's move into Photoshop here. I've got this photo here of this model wearing a vibrant blue shirt. And I'm gonna change that to whatever color I want. So what I wanna do is grab the um, any mask tool. I got the just the square mask tool or rectangular mask tool. Create a mask of the shirt. Come down here, create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Okay, and up in my properties for the hue and saturation, I'm just going to slide until I reach the red that I want. And then it's a little too bright. Drop the saturation. And that's pretty much the color I want. Perfect. Now with the mask selected, grab a brush. Make sure it's at 100% opacity. Um, size doesn't matter. And we want to go in and draw in the rest of that blue. Now when you get to the edges, it's gonna you have to be careful. See, watch, if you go over to the hand, I'm changing the color of the hand. We don't want to do that. I want to just change the color of that shirt. So this is not something you're gonna do super fast. You really have to go in there and fix the details. Okay, so I'm gonna speed up and come right back. Okay, so we've gone and drawn the entire shirt without hitting the arms or the jeans or whatever. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that mask. Now Unfortunately, with this picture, we got the hair a bit in there. So what I did was create a simple uh, colored mask on here, replacing that the greenish hair, making it making it red like it was before. So I'm gonna turn that on and see. Pretty convincing. Pretty happy with that. Okay. Next thing you want to do is we're gonna go grab our T-shirt design. Make sure it's on an invisible background. This should be an EPS, anyways. You can check out my other tutorials on how to get that. Come over here, and we're gonna paste this on. Okay, just make sure this layer is above everything. Now, here's where it gets tricky. So we want to place this, this uh, design on here. So what I'm going to do is get the transform. You can hit Command Control T. And we're going to go on Distort. We want the Distort. So I'm going to move those points until I get a pretty convincing position for the shirt. Play around with this quite a bit until you're happy with the results. Okay, now since we don't want it to be a flat image, we're going to select, come up here to liquefy, and then I know it's white on white, it's kind of hard to see, but what you want to do is grab this, the smudge tool here, and simply try to match the curves of the model. And it really doesn't have to be exact. I found just adding just a bit of adding just a bit of irregularity goes a long way of make to making it look more realistic. Like she's wearing it, perfect. See, just that I'm convinced. Now, from here, we're just going to drop the opacity to a few points, maybe 95, 97. That's all you really need. And then what I like to do from here is go in and add just a bit of noise, and that just makes it not too much. See, that's way too much just a bit of noise and that makes it like it blends right into the shirt okay now I've only got one side of this t-shirt but 
you can see how we could put another one on the back. If we had a design on the back, we could do the same thing. Okay, so it's just that simple, guys. So um, use these photos, put it in your ads, put it on your website, advertise your your t-shirt, your Teespring campaign using a real model wearing the shirt, not just a template of the shirt. I find you'll get much better results doing this. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Please click here if you want to learn how to design a t-shirt in Photoshop. We also have a tutorial for how to design a t-shirt in Illustrator. So whatever you're best at, whatever you prefer, go check this out. Okay, this is Rob Baldwin. Comment below, like this video, follow me on Twitter. We'll see you next time.